when we ask, can a computer be conscious? What we are in fact asking is, can a computer be conscious in the same way that you and I are? Do you believe that uh, AI at some point is going to become conscious in a sense? If it does, in what sense would it become conscious? I figured that uh, my starting assumptions were completely wrong because I was imagining, I was assuming in an unexamined way that consciousness is something that you produce by arranging matter in a certain way. And I think that's completely flawed. Consciousness is that within which things are produced. It, it, it is not produced because it's what's, what is in there to begin with. So anything else can be produced out of it. So I thought, I figured I was thinking about it in a completely wrong way. And that's why I was always facing a wall. Anything I could conceive about how to organize the computer would only lead to more complex computation. I would have no reason to think that that computation would produce experience. And there was a paper by David, David Chalmers, a famous philosophy alive today, in which he talked about the hard problem of consciousness. He recognized that there is nothing about physicality in terms of which we could deduce the qualities of experience. There is nothing about mass, geometric formations, uh, speed, uh, nothing about any of these physical quantities that could allow us to deduce what it is like to see red, to feel sweetness, to fall in love. There seems to be a completely arbitrary bridge between these two domains, physical quantities and experiential qualities. And once I grokked that, once I realized, yes, this is it, the bridge is arbitrary, so we shouldn't be trying to bridge this. We've made some assumptions here that were wrong from the beginning and led us off down completely hopeless avenues of thought. And that's why we face a wall. We are following up on wrong conclusions without even knowing. So what I think today is that consciousness is there from the beginning. When we ask, can a computer be conscious? What we are in fact asking is, can a computer be conscious in the same way that you and I are? In other words, can it have its own private conscious inner life? I think that what nature is showing us is that what private conscious inner life looks like from a third person perspective is what we call biology, metabolism. When you have a dissociated aspect of universal consciousness, in other words, private conscious in their life, the way that dissociated complex of experiences looks like from the outside is a living organism, you know, mitosis, protein folding, you know, all that good stuff that we only see in biology and which unifies our life despite the absurd differences between different living organisms. Thanks for listening to a podcast with interesting people. Please subscribe and leave a review or comment. And support us by sharing our episodes on social media. We really appreciate it. And for more information, visit us at apodcast.com. Thanks.